hello students i welcome you all to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 2.5 megagram pickup truck is towing the 1.5 megagram car using a cable as shown if the car is initially at rest and the truck is coasting with a velocity of 30 km per hour when the cable is slick determine the common velocity of the truck and the car just after the cables become taut right so when the cables become taut both the truck and the car move with the same velocity so now we can write that the mass of the pickup truck is 2.5 megagram let me write that the mass of the truck is 2.5 into 10 rest to power 6 gram and if we convert it into kg so we will have 2.5 into 10 rest to power 3 kgs similarly the mass of the car is equal to 1.5 into 10 rest to power 6 gram which is equal to 1.5 into 10 rest to power 3 kgs and the initial velocity of the car is let me write that the the car initial velocity that is equal to zero it is at rest and the truck initial velocity is equal to 30 kilometer per hour and if we convert into meter per second so one kilometer is equal to thousand and one hour equals to 3600 so this gives us the velocity equals to 8.333 meter per second so the velocity of the truck in meter per second is 18 8.33 now when the cable become taut so when the cable become taut so they move with the common velocity and let's say that that common velocity is represented by v and the the tension in the in the cable cancels out each other right since the truck is going to apply the tension in this direction and as a reaction the force of the car is to be applied in the opposite direction but they are internal to the system these are the impulsive forces but they cancel out each other and as a result we can say that the momentum is conserved so if the momentum is conserved we can apply the law of conservation of momentum and if we apply the law of conservation of momentum that says that the that the summation of the initial momentum that will be equal to the summation of the final momentum that is the final momentum right so now we can write that the initial momentum is the mass of the truck into the initial velocity of the truck plus the mass of the car into the initial velocity of the car and this will be equal to the mass of the truck into the common velocity plus the mass of the car into the common velocity after the cable is uh, after the cable becomes start right so the mass of the truck is 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 the initial velocity of the truck in meter per second is 8.333 plus the mass of the car is 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 and the velocity of the car the initial velocity of the car is 0 so this will become 0 and now from both of these terms we can take that velocity as common so that will be equal to the uh, mass of the truck plus mass of the car into velocity so the total mass is that is the mass of the truck is 2.5 we can write that this is 2.5 plus the mass of the car is 1.5 and this is in megagram so we have to multiply it with 10 raised to the power 3 so we want to find this velocity we want to find that common velocity so now if i divide this whole equation by 10 raised to the power 3 so this will cancel out and this 10, 10 raised to power 3 uh, throughout the equation will cancel out and since uh, here we have that 0 so this whole term will become 0 right so we are left with 2.5 into 8.333 and that is equal to 2.5 plus 1.5 into v and from this we can write that the common velocity after the cable becomes start is 2.5 into 8.333 divided by 2.5 plus 1.5 and that velocity this velocity comes out to be let me find it using calculator so this is 2.5 into 8.333 so this gives us the velocity equals to 5.208 meter per second now in the problem statement it is also said that also find the loss of energy 
So the loss of energy will be the change in the kinetic energy, right? So let me write that the loss of energy is equal to the kinetic energy loss. So that will be the initial kinetic energy minus the final kinetic energy. So the initial kinetic energy will be uh, 1 divided by 2 and since uh, in the initial state the car is not moving only the truck is moving so we can say that this is 1 divided by 2 mass of the truck into the initial velocity of the truck squared plus uh, minus 1 divided by 2 and then since both are moving together so then we will have the mass of the truck plus the mass of the car into the common velocity square so here we will have 1 divided by 2 now the mass of the truck is 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 into the velocity of the truck so initial velocity of the truck is 8.33 8.333 square minus 1 divided by 2 mass of the truck is 2.5 plus the mass of the car is 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 so that is in kgs and the final velocity is 5.208 which we have already determined so this is 5.208 squared so now let's find this using calculator so the first term gives us 86798.61 minus 54246.53 and now if we subtract both of these so this is uh, so this gives us 32552 approximately so this is 32552 joules energy or we can say that this is 32.55 kilojoule energy is lost right so the energy loss is 32.55 kilojoules and the final velocity of both the truck and the car when the cables become taut is 5.208 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning